welcome back to another video. If it's echoey, I'm sorry. It's because I'm in my spare bedroom because I kind of wanted like a change of scenery. And this is one of the only rooms that has like decent sunlight in it. Um, I'm kind of filming it later in the day. So I apologize if it is a little echoey. As you can see, I'm actually sitting on an air mattress because we still don't even have a guest bed in this bedroom. It's still a major work in progress, but hopefully soon. I should get that. But anyways, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is our April favorites. Basically, my monthly favorites consist of the 10 top favorites of the month. So if you are interested in seeing what I've been enjoying in the month of April, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So there are two food items that I'm going to share with you. Two of them, one I have to assemble, and two, I ate all of them and I haven't re-upped my stock. Um, so the first item is fruit roll-ups and I don't know, I, you guys, I say this in like every video, every favorites video at least, because I'm always sharing food or something sweet because I have a major sweet tooth. <sighs> last, last month I was like obsessed with something. I can't even remember. I don't know. Um, but it's just so weird how like fruit roll-ups was just, it's just like such a kid thing that you just forget about them in your adulthood. But I've been obsessed with them, especially in the beginning of the month. I ate like three a day and that's why my stockpile literally, it just, it doesn't exist anymore and I need to buy more. But I love them. Um, I actually got a Jelly Rancher flavored fruit roll up, which are really good, except I'm not a huge fan of green apple and it did have green apple flavor. So that, I didn't, I still ate them because I, I love them, but green apple is like my like least favorite flavor. Um, but yes, love, 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 love fruit roll ups. So yummy, so yummy. And then the second favorite that I've been obsessed with, like I'll have one during lunch, I'll have one at night. <laughs> And it sounds crazy, it is a s'more. And I love s'mores. S'mores are one of my favorite like desserts. I can eat them all year round, no joke. And I actually love the Russell Stover's one, but they're almost like impossible to find. Um, but one of our like coronavirus trips at Walmart, I just got all the materials to make it and I've just been enjoying it very, very much. Um, like I said, I've been making it sometimes two or three times a day and I do not regret it. Me personally, what I do is I put actually two layers of chocolate because again, sweet tooth um, and I don't regret it. I actually, <laughs> and the thing is too, I make it over the stove because we don't have a, we don't have a fire pit out back. But yeah, s'mores, second favorite thing. I'm obsessed, I love them so much. So if you hadn't had a s'more in so long, go out and get the fixings to make it and just be nostalgic with me. So moving on with food, again, that's my favorite thing to do is eat. Um, I'm going to share with you the everything but the bagel seasoning. This thing is amazing. This is so good. If you haven't tried this yet, I highly suggest. It's from Trader Joe's and I think it was like around three or four dollars, but I've used this quite a bit and I still have so much left. Um, I use this on, um, eggs. That's what a lot of people use it on. I've actually made some avocado toast this past uh, couple of weeks just to see if like my taste buds have changed to see if I like it again. Um, it's okay, but this definitely helps. This just adds so much extra flavor to like eggs, um, avocado toast, all that. If you haven't tried this yet, I definitely suggest you need this in your cabinet at all times. It's so good. The next thing I'm going to share with you is actually another Mrs. Meyer scent. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with the honeysuckle. That's literally like the only one that I ever use. But I decided when I was out, I was like, you know what? I have to get some, I'll get two bottles and two different scents to see if like I'll try something else. And I got the mint kind and I actually really, really like this too. Um, again, I don't think honeysuckle will never be my number one, but this is such a great alternative if you want something different. Um, I don't know, I really like it. It's more of like, it's a mint smell, but it also smells kind of sweet, if that makes sense. But I love this stuff. Um, if you love Mrs. Myers um, and you're looking for another scent, I definitely suggest mint. All right, so we're gonna move on to some clothes. I do have some clothes items and 
Um, I'm an adult, but I don't have matching pajamas at all. So I've been wanting some, but sometimes matching pajamas can get really expensive and I am super, super, super cheap. Um, but I was on, I think I got like an email because I don't know if you, like me personally, I've been getting so many more spam emails. It's obnoxious, but like also kind of good. There's just a lot of places having a lot of sales because of the virus and they're trying to make up for like their revenue losses. So a lot of them are holding sales. One of them being Boohoo. And I mean, Boohoo always has sales, but I don't know. Uh, whenever they have 60% off, I'm like, yes, let me give me everything. But also I was looking for um, work clothes because I did start a new job. And although I'm still working from home, eventually I'm gonna have to go into an office where I'm gonna have to dress casually. So I've been needing, ooh, the neighbors that were fighting just got home. Um, but yeah, so I've been having to buy a lot more um, like business casual clothes because I got rid of all my stuff. Either I got rid of it because I didn't think I was going to need it or your girl just added a few pounds and I don't fit in anything anymore. So I needed to get some stuff. So I went on Boohoo and I was looking at all their nice like blouses. So I did pick up some stuff there. While I was on the website, uh, I think that I had to like exceed like a certain limit to get free shipping. Pretty sure that's how it always is. I was like, you know what? I'll get some um, pajama sets. So I did, and I love them. I got them in larges, and honestly, I could have gotten them in mediums, but I was just, you know, err erring on the side of caution. Um, and I'm not gonna try them out, I'm not gonna do that. But the first one is this really, really pretty, like, lilac set, um, very flowy. And my thing is if I don't like, if the elastic is too, like, tight around my stomach, I don't like it. And thankfully, and that's why I sized up. But thankfully these are not super, super tight around the edge or around the um, the stomach area. So I love them. They're very flowy. Obviously you don't want something super tight while you're sleeping. So love these. And it's just a basic short and then like a basic top. And I don't know, I love it. It's like kind of just like a box shirt. Um, yeah, I love this. I got, this is the first one. The second one that I got is like a basic black and white um, pajama set and uh, the shorts are very similar to the uh, pink or purple ones. Wow, I don't know colors anymore. Um, same material, uh, it's very thin, which is good because I live in Vegas and we're up to 100 degrees now, so I need these. But yes, love this and then it comes with a top that has some uh, white detailing and it's like a button up collar. So it just looks like this. It's pretty deep because it is a large, but it's almost like a crop top. So this one, I'm kind of glad that I got into a large because I don't like crop tops. But yeah, I like the, uh, the light white detailing and that it's a button up. It looks more like a, I don't know, an adult pajama set. But yeah, love these. And both of them are very, I think both of them are less than $12 each, like for the full set. And that's why I love Boohoo because they're, very inexpensive. And then the last and final um, clothing item that I got is some leggings and I guess they're dupes for um, Lulu, Lulu, I don't know why I was just drawing a blank, Lululemon. Um, I will never in my life spend that amount of money on a pair of leggings, but I needed some new black ones because the ones that I have from Old Navy, they were so tight around my stomach, they were so uncomfortable that I needed new ones. Um, these ones were about $32 each, but I love them so much. So they, um, they're not like super tight around the stomach, but they hold your stomach in if you got like a little muffin top like me. Um, and they're very good. They're squat proof. Um, they fit perfectly. They're very, very soft. Um, they are from Amazon. Like I said, they're from CRZ leggings and I've heard a ton of great things about them. And for good reason. They are amazing. I love them. So if you're looking for uh, Lululemon dupes um, that are really inexpensive, I definitely suggest these. These are from Amazon. Uh, now we're just going to move on to the beauty uh, part and I got a couple of things. So the first thing are these nails. Um, these are the Impress nails and I think I mentioned these, I'm more than positive I mentioned these in a vlog like last month when I first tried these. I love these things. These look so good. I mean, my cuticles are crap right now, but these are so nice. Um, I got, I actually made a huge order from impressnails.com. I'm still waiting for it to ship, 
but uh, you can get them at Walmart. I think you can get them at like CVS, um, Walgreens, Target. These ones were from Target. They're like an almond shaped and um, this is what it looks like. These are amazing. So basically all you do is just match them to the sides of your fingers and it's just a peel and stick. There's no glue involved and it lasts so long. The first set that I tried on, I got to last two weeks. Um, since then, I think I was just being a, a little cautious, but now I manage maybe like a week and a half, which to me is still a really long time. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest these. These are so cute. And honestly, they're like six to seven dollars each. And for me to get my nails done, it costs easily $70. So I think I might switch to doing these from now on because even if I use them once a week, that's still significantly cheaper than actually getting my nails done. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're such good quality. I put these ones on last night and I love them so much. So the next thing that I have to share with you, I never thought that I would ever, ever, ever use this, but um, I am sick of how pasty I am, and honestly, I might just get like a little, um, I don't know, like one of those little kiddie pools just so I can lay out in my backyard because I am so white, so white. Um, and my legs just look nasty. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'm gonna try some self tanner. So I picked up this L'Oreal um, Sublime bronze in um, medium. It's a self tanning water mousse. So basically you go into the shower, you exfoliate and you come out and you put this on. You want to make sure that you lotion any body parts that are like dry and stuff and then put this all over. This stuff is amazing. At first I didn't think I was going to get anything from it because I waited a couple of hours and I wasn't seeing it develop. But after I slept overnight, um, I was actually tan. And I was surprised. I, mean, I wasn't, and that's that's the thing too. It was very gradual. It wasn't like bam, like you got color. And I did not look orange. And that's what I really like about this stuff. This was only like twelve dollars, and I got it from either Walmart or Target. I can't remember. But I actually really like the stuff. And for somebody that doesn't really use self tanner at all, um, this is very user friendly. But I love this stuff. If you're looking for a cheap uh, alternative, I like it. Not. Not too mad about it. And the last two things are, they go together. They're basically like my skincare for at night after I get out of the shower. And I know some of you guys are gonna freaking hate me. You you are. I don't do much with my with my skincare. Um, I'm very blessed to have decent skin. If anything, um, it just gets dry and that's basically it. So uh, the first thing that I use is this or the ordinary is a lactic acid. Um, I think I saw this on TikTok, so I thought I'd give it a try. At first, I tried this. I did not like it. I didn't like it. I would put it on, and I didn't. I didn't put anything on like over it. I didn't put any moisturizer, no toner, nothing. Um, and after like three days, it just made my chin itch so bad. Um, so I didn't like it, and I stopped using it for a little bit. But then. I picked up this and you guys are going to scream at me. You guys are probably going to be like, that stuff's so terrible for you. But I really needed some moisturizer because like I said, my skin gets dry. Um, I live in Vegas and it's a very arid climate here. So I got this Jergens All Purpose Face Cream. And um, if you guys have oily skin, I would not suggest this. It's basically like Vaseline for your face. Um, so I personally like it. Um, you can use it for deep cleansing, softening, moisturizing. Um, what I do is I put this on after I get out of the shower, um, kind of as a base, and then I seal it with this, and I use it as like a f like a sleep mask for my face. Um, so I wake up and it's no longer greasy. Uh, my face feels moisturized, and I really really like it. It's actually really inexpensive. I got it from Walmart. I think it was like six or seven dollars, and that's pretty much what. <laughs> You guys are gonna hate me. That's pretty much what tempted me to get this because I was like, oh, it's a cheap moisturizer. Um, yeah, I don't spend a lot of money on my uh, skincare at all. <laughs> I'm terrible, but I don't know. I feel bad because I know a lot of people like they have a lot of hard times and their skin is very sensitive. Thankfully, um, mine isn't, so I can use crap products like this and it works. Um, but yeah, these two things together at night. That's what I've been using for my skincare, and I really, really like how smooth and hydrated my face is considering the climate that I live in. 
All right, guys, and that is everything that I have to share with you for my April favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.